Hey there, folks. My name is Dazer, and welcome back to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. All right, we're going to jump right back in. It's late. It's about one, a little after 1 a.m. People are asleep again. Hopefully this time it's... I'm going to try and get a couple episodes recorded. Um, for those of you who don't know the specifics of my, my new job, uh, I work until midnight, and so that makes doing videos at night very difficult for me. All right. Oh, that's right. I was having frame rate issues. Uh, this is the night of the last couple episodes I just recorded, so... So I should be getting my new CPU technically... Well, technically today, uh, as of the day that this is being recorded, but more like tomorrow... All right, so wait, what's going on here? Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm gonna rinse it out now. There, it will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? Okay. So I need to get in here. So there's probably... Yet another uh, thing that I needed to to uh, go to. Where is this? Is where I've been, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. This looks familiar. I told you he'd come. Extraordinary, quite extraordinary. And you built it all. Good God, man! <laughs> it is wonderful how tragedy focuses the mind. What else was there? <clears throat> Fall into grief, pine and fade in my hopelessness? Why not then simply die in that jungle amongst those dead temples? I understand that, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I liked that. Alright, so I'm guessing turn the no? Do this first? No, do this first? Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is cool. All right. No, not yet. There we go. And that opens that up. So that's kind of like a decontainment thing bef in like early days or something I don't know that's all that's what I'm getting it as okay that picture is seriously creepy I keep feeling like I'm playing outlast I was gonna zoom in on it but I can't do that <laughs> I don't have a camera with a zoom a zooming ability Meh. okay oh wait, 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 wait bottom one first bottom one first Okay. Let's see here. And it really does quite suck the fact that my CPU is getting so bad because, uh, like, if I'm not... It, it, it has to do with the fact that it can't handle doing this and recording all at the same time and everything. Because if I don't have recording going on, I could play this at max resolution without a single problem. But once you include fraps and you've got a problem... The collar, the neck, the noose. Such a fanfare, the times wrote. It was a splendid occasion. The bunting stretched for streets and the fanfare blew. A proud day for the family. Some of the sound just randomly cut out for no reason. I have noticed that a couple times, actually. Where things will be perfectly fine, but the sound, like, while it's really well done... It just cuts out for no reason. I like that you don't have to worry about tinder boxes. You can just go with those instead. All right, all right. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hang on, I got a journal. All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully recreate the illusion of a working factory complex, 
Yet this facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. I hope that my uh, accent is remaining consistent. Okay. But I really do like that they... Uh, really? Hi. How's it going? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. There was another door right here. Of course, it's locked. Alright. So let's go through here. What was that? What was that? No, 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 not more, not more of that. I dealt with that enough in uh, Last Door. I don't want to do any more of that stuff. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now, no, they will not but they will happily accept fairty to a god thus th thrust upon them and worship it thus given. In this I realize there are no differences to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrev irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground." Whoa, I just made that thing shoot out off further than I expected it to. Shut up. Shut up. It's seriously creepy. In America, they talk of burning their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly, but perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loom beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talked of this. They talked of how, when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What places lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find at the center of the planet. My architect tells me there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. And this one, what the hell? Is that the new sanity system or something? Uh, it's a little advanced, a little advanced sanity, messing around with sanity. Oh, okay. Let's move on, shall we? I'm ready to go. Well, the the door moving in this certainly is advanced in comparison to Slender the Arrival. Though I always realized that. Slender's uh, door moving mechanics were never the greatest. Okay, we're back outside. Only for a moment, it seems. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of the laudanum derivative in, f in feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. That means that when we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits. We have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the lines means we must we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy particularly effective in this regard. I'm t I, I assume they are talking about uh, slaughterhouse factory lines? Something along those lines? Um... Warning, fuel pumps, volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive. Wear protection. I hear something.
That's a really loud noise. Piggies! Yep. Totally what I was saying. Factory line for the piggies. Hi, piggy. You are just totally the same exact pig from Amnesia, or uh, from the original. Same. Ugh. Course. Let's go take a look at the piggies, shall we? Okay. Seriously, whoever worked on the soundtrack for this, you get an A+. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I've seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simmons' works, but they smell the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that, I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. It's a weird sound. All right, well, let's uh, let's go over here, I guess. Oh, great. Ah. Piggy was still alive, partly. Hang on, can I open this one? Okay, that one's locked. Okay, we got two directions here. Let's go this way. Okay, let's go check this door real quick. Oh, a note. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man, as if this is to be desired. One almost, one might almost boast of creating a man who breathes like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, running carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets. Alleys and gutters freely. Alleys and gutters running freely with their careless spill of their conjoinings. They air thick with their whimperings of lust. Bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers by. And yet, if this is the condition Babbage aspired to. No. This is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. All right. So, what do we got here? We're back outside. This has got a lot outside, I'm surprised. A lot of stuff going on outside. Hello? Is somebody here? Kids? Wow! Scheme is certainly looking to be much bigger in scale than the uh, the old one. How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the basic equipment we have provided with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed new fangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls. But you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it. And the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it, says I. Enough for a night and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a jaw. Papa, let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Uh, hang on, let's check over here, see if there's anything. 
Although I don't know that I really need to be looking for anything right now, just because they haven't really introduced anything other than um, two evil red eyes looked at me as I... Okay. Whoa! Oh, this church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around the fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however, as almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternate entrance. This container looks as if it may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw pass me in its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself, and the opportunity begins to gain access to St. Dunstan's. All right, we are out of time for this episode. Ah, oh, the evil eye's back. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, favor, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you in the next video. Brr.